Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to show you how we make food for our cats. Um, and Molly's already calculating the proportions of meat and everything, all the ingredients, uh, because she's the, she's clearly the brain of the operation, and I'm the muscle. I'll be the I'll be cutting all the meat and everything. Yeah, big thing. <laughs> Um, so for our calculations, we're using a calculator from um, a Facebook group um, that is called Cat Crab, and Crab stands for Cats Completely Raw and Proud. So feel free to join the group. They have a lot of resources if you want to learn about raw feeding. They have a lot of files, interesting reads, um, lots of information that you might need to start your cats eating raw food. Um, the calculator is very useful because you can literally put in um, the amount of what you have and what you want to use and then this will calculate to the proportions but you can easily just do it yourself um, just make sure that um, there is 80% of meat content 10% of bone content and 10% of organ um, and then it also shows the optional ingredients for our batch so oily fish so we add sardines in tomato sauce and then it also shows us how many eggs to add to the mixture as well. So now let's go over the ingredients that we'll need in today's batch. We've got minced chicken carcass that we previously um, froze. Uh, we get that from uh, local butchers. They just uh, mince it together for us and we get like three to four kilograms at a time and then put it in these little tabs. So that will be um, the exact portion for a batch today. Uh, then we have uh, three packs of these pork steaks. Uh, these are from Audi, very inexpensive um, and quite a good amount of, um, of fat in there as well, which the cats definitely need. Uh, the good thing about these is that they are like pre-cut steaks, so we will literally just need to cut it into little cubes. Uh, the next thing that we need is the heart. So uh, these are from Nature's Menu. We get it from one of our local uh, pet shops. Um, and just um, so we know, hearts count as meat content and it is a working muscle. So it does have um, a good amount of taurine, which is very essential for cats as well. And then we have poultry liver. Uh, for our organ content, again from Nature's Menu. These are all frozen, so we just had to get them out a little bit earlier. And then for the optional ingredients, we have the eggs and sardines as well. So now we're just going to put a breakdown of the prices um, of everything that we used in this batch. Uh, feel free to just pause and copy it. You can use this recipe. If you don't know where to start, you can use this recipe as your first try. Um, and if you do, just let us know in the comments if you cats enjoyed it. So let's start with the pork steak. Um, Matt is already cutting the meat into cubes. Um, Mr. Muscle. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'm going for our cubes around one by one centimeter. Uh, they like to have something to munch on, so don't cut them too finely uh, because we noticed that uh, our cats actually enjoy uh, chewing on them and uh, working their jaws as opposed to, you know, just eating mint and basically swallowing, not doing much work there. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Okay, so while I was getting all the meat cut up, uh, Mon already made a start on the uh, liver. She's measured out the correct proportions and we're going with how much? 298 grams. <laughs> 299, I think, I think that's acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, tell us why the liver is in a separate container. So we are making a delicious gravy. <laughs> the liver will be blended with eggs and sardines creating a lovely sauce. We're gonna pour it all over the meat, mix it together, and that will make it a little bit more appealing for them, hopefully. Yeah, and they'll hopefully won't be able to pick the pieces they like because everything's gonna smell the same. That's why the carcass is so good, uh, because it's uh, minced meat with some bone. It's also going to act like a, like a sponge kind of thing, and it's going to soak up all the, uh, all the liquid from the uh, gravy that we're going to make. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's normally quite nice as well because it creates a little bit of like a sauce. So when you defrost um, your box with the batch, 
um, it's not just like chunks of everything, um, it does have a little bit of that sauce and it does entice the cats as well a little bit. Let's get back to making the batch. So I think now we're going to add the uh, rest of the ingredients for our uh, gravy, uh, which is 200 grams of uh, sardines uh, and two or three eggs today? Four. Four, oh, okay, I was so off. So our whole batch is almost three and a half kilograms. Uh, and I think that lasts for about two Yeah, we normally, we normally do it around yeah. two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So you can normally add sardines in tomato sauce um, straight into your gravy or your batch. Uh, but these have a little bit of olive oil in the ingredients and um, vegetable and plant oils are not very easy for cats to digest, so we're just going to rinse off the sauce and add just the sardines. Guys, look at those tails. I think they smell the sardines. This this guy definitely has smelled the sardines. Look at that. <laughs> he wants some sardines. I think I think it's in order to make some uh, quality control. So if you have a little bit too much, which is actually the case, and um, for us we've got a tiny bit too much, you can let your cats taste test taste it taste. Taste it and test it, or test it by tasting it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go, he's already pouring. So I just put in sardines and we just need to add eggs and take cat off the counter. <laughs> They're yeah. super excited about the sardines. <laughs> and then blend it together. So uh, just, to, just to remind, we I think four eggs right now, uh, and then we're going to blend it together to make some cat gravy. Pixie actually loves raw eggs and they are also really good to um, help them out with her bowls. So sometimes we just give her a raw egg to eat. She loves she it. Eats it like a soup. Blue Bowl doesn't really fancy it, but she loves it. There we go. Now we just need to blend it all together. Oh, look at that. The, I mean, you say that like it actually looks nice. It doesn't look nice, but I think I think what Mo's trying to say, it looks very appealing to the cats, uh, and that's that's what's important here. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, no, I would not drink it. <laughs> So now that gravy is done, are we gonna go ahead and add the hearts and the carcass? Yeah, so the, the rest of the process is pretty simple. Uh, we just need to combine everything together, uh, mix it well and portion it. We're going with the poultry hearts, we're going to add 750 grams, so I zero the scale. 750, perfect. That's gonna go back in the freezer and then we'll just add the rest of the ingredients. So we based the uh, measurements of our batch based on how much carcass we have. Uh, so this is 60% of bone content and there is 469 grams, I believe. Sorry, 496. Um, so all of the other ingredients are based around that um, so that it all balances to 80-10-10 ratio. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a quick mix before I add the cut gravy. If you can mix it perfectly, honestly, don't even worry about it because uh, because you do it in the in the batches uh, over a period of two weeks, it all balances out anyway as long as they eat everything. So if it's not mixed perfectly, it's still okay. Now it's time for the cut gravy. Spread it nicely. <laughs> it actually looks disgusting, but uh, cats love it, so that's what's important. <laughs> Mr. Muscle. If, you, if you're small like Mon uh, mm -hmm. and you don't have a Mr. Muscle with you, uh, I would suggest making it in smaller batches because uh, it is actually quite hard to, to mix the whole thing. So, either hire somebody to mix it for you, or, or, I don't know, start dating somebody with big muscles. Nice. That's a good piece of advice. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not just a cat channel. It's also life advice, relationship advice. Um... Is it? <laughs> so, for freezing, we are using the Natural Instinct um, boxes. 
Uh, so we kept loads of them so that we can freeze our batches in them. Uh, and as you can see, that's from the previous one. We just put a date on it um, so that we know when we made the last batch. And that was 22nd of August, so yeah, two and a half weeks ago. Um, and this is um, around the same amount of food that what we made last not, uh, last time. Uh, that lasted two and a half weeks for two cats. So pretty good. Uh, and as you can see, the price breakdown per kilo will be just on the screen now. So you can just um, get an idea of how much it costs. If okay, so each one of those containers holds about 400, between 400 and 450 grams. Depends obviously how full you make it. And uh, I'm just gonna finish packing everything. Okay guys, so I'm done with uh, packing all the food into containers. Uh, we're going to chuck some lids on it, write the dates on it, and put it in the freezer. Then your batch is complete. Okay guys, so it's a couple hours later now because we're running late for the gym uh, and we didn't have time to record the ending. Uh, we've got our protein, cats have their own protein in the freezer now, and as you saw, it's actually really easy to make your own uh, raw food for your cats. If you want to know why we make our own food for cats, uh, we are going to record this video soon and link it up here for you guys so you can see that as in, well. In this corner. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, Mon said that because I tried like seven times and I just <laughs> mumbled every single time. Uh, in anyways guys, that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions or comments or if you just like to, you know, say something funny, please do it in the comment section below. Um, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. There's uh, Bluebell just uh, being cute with Mon. Bye bye. Um, we're going to link a video right here once once it's done um, <laughs> because it's not done yet. This is a video that's going to be up there in future. You're messing it up. I didn't mess it up. That was right, <laughs> right? You get okay, you okay. get me.